People were suggesting healing potions should taste like meat smoothies. Ugh. What would a meat smoothie even taste like? Oh, gross. Oh, oh, so gross. Like. Nothing's gonna stop me. I. I mean, imagine liverwurst if it was liquid. Hmm. That would be really gross. So very gross. Ugh. No need to panic. I'll take care of them. That's it. Unless you're just outright drinking blood. This one's for you. Cause that's gross. Go on. I think we're almost done. I. Ready? Huh. Now I'm Go thinking on, about this. I what? what? I haven't had a rare One steak in forever. <laughs> and it's like I almost wish. I'll take care of you. Kinda hurt. Well, Get unfortunately, em. we had all our bison Sorry, the other day in those burgers. Yeah, I know. This Actually, no, we don't. You. We still have some burger <laughs> left over. We have some <laughs> bison bit. Go on. <laughs> but I'm not gonna make it rare for you. No. I should make it as part of a meat sauce for, for a uh, Alfredo or tomato <laughs> dish with pasta. That'd be good. Or as tacos. I think we're almost done. Yeah, it Stay makes sense. I just on. I think next time we put in a food order, I might want to get some. You might want to get steak. Just we just, were trying to yeah, lower like our beef. I know, shot. but like no we haven't. There. I haven't had steak in like three months now. Four, five. It's been a long time. Wonder what was affixed up there. Hmm. Not sure. You think now the others can get across too? Well, and they'll be able to get to Ward 2. Okay, so we can switch away from the purple pain back to next at all of these. Okay, I gotta very quickly figure out what is Air, uh, Tifa's best weapon. Probably the feathered gloves. I know you like the look of them the most, but they—they they definitely look the most elegant. But beyond looks, do they have the stats for it? They have the most attack. Surely, or one a very high attack and a very high speed. Whereas I think Purple Pain has more magic. Ah, uh, it's a little bit more magic. And a lot more crit. So what does ATB uh, with speed do here? They move faster, I think they hit a little faster, and you gain a lot more ATB. Hmm. Let me check. So Mithril Claws would get more magic. Feather Gloves increase the speed by 10 and attack by a little bit, but you lose a little bit of magic, you lose a lot of health. Sadly enough, I think Purple Pain might actually just be the best glove currently. I mean, just keep Purple Pain then. Alright. I don't mind the Purple Pain. Purple's awesome. Let me just figure out. some points into it. Um, let's see. So she's done. Aerith has the bladed staff, which I was just not super... I was not feeling this thing when I put it together. Mm -hmm. Now that it's got this, this is a little bit better. Uh... 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not keen on that. What about the reinforced staff? I think we looked at this one too. Are there only so many nodes in certain staves? Yeah. I think there are four total nodes per uh per weapon, maybe. This one seems to only have three. Yeah, well, the weapon isn't maxed out. Mm -hmm. So they're going to rework the UI for the next game. My assumption is, yeah, they will probably rework the, the oh. whole UI system. Was that a large complaint amongst fans having to deal with that kind of system? For uh, upgrading things? I don't think it's a large complaint. Would they prefer to have it flat and you can just see the trees? I don't think it's a huge complaint for people, but I, I think they're... I don't know, I just think they will change things. It would be kind of neat <laughs> if the next... Um, If the next part, I guess, is... Wait, why are you going back? There was another staircase I missed. I wanted um... to go double check that one. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think it would be kind of neat if they actually really kept the follow-up to this. Not, like, super true to form, but, like, don't change too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that it helps too much. Uh, let's see. What's a what's a good example of like a trilogy where they, well, I guess Final Fantasy 13, they really changed up how 13 13 2 and then 13 uh 3 works. Or like Lightning Returns? Cuz I'm pretty sure Lightning Returns was like a it's, you didn't have a party, you were just playing as Lightning. 13-2, you were playing as Lightning's sister, and you had, like, monster collection. Oh, interesting. And 13, you just had, like, a full team. And so, I don't know. I... Hey, Cloud? Uh, we used the control panel here a little while ago, so you should be able to get to the other side. Can you check? Roger that. We're getting pretty bored, anyway. You two stay there. We'll call if anything comes up. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. You're missing some materia in his sword. Yep. I have to re-equip all of his materia again. Okay. So this is magnify. HP absorption on. Fire, so he's got ice, lightning, and fire. Oh, what's he gonna have in that last slot? This one? Yeah. Assess. The least interesting materia. The one that tells you what the enemy does. The 13-2 was lots of fun. I, at some point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like, does the ward 2 open? Get over there. No, I have to open it up. You have to open it up. At some point, I will probably sit down and actually play through 13. Oh, I can only have one open at a time. Mm -hmm. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. Well, maybe that's so that you can't preemptively unlock all of them. Yeah, but why not? Mm. I don't know. Imagine designing this in such a way that the two parties can't merge again. I mean, easy enough. That stinks. One of Hojo's experiments. Looks like they trashed a bunch of robots. Yup. Yeah, there's definitely goodies behind those. I think maybe even back the way you came, there may have been one. Nope. No, is that just empty? Alright. Yep. Gosh, I might actually have to go get some more food in a bit. You've been hungry. I am hungry. 
Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing um, test. Give me More of the sleepy lion dogs. Ah, oh, watch out! Need my help, do you? What the hell? Hang back. Keep it together. About damn time! I got this. It's on you. Guess it's my turn. I'm waiting. What is prey? Ah, they have a poison breath now. Yep. Mephitic shower. I don't think these. Yeah, these are not weak to anything specific. Whoa, but I can abuse that them. attack. Looks good. Oh, do we stagger both of them? I guess so. Yes, so. That was quite the finish. I hope you're enjoying oh. your experience. Why don't you come down here and ask me? Before you get any ideas, you should know this glass is bulletproof. No discernible changes after contact. Most fascinating. Hmm. Hey, we ain't done yet. It seems we have no choice. Okay, Barrett, what gun are you using? Oh, he is still using the EKG. I want to switch him back to the Big Bertha. <laughs> Big Bertha just looks the coolest in all of the cutscenes. Like, this one's okay. Oh, right. I should be leveling up Cloud's current sword. This is not actually very also, good. Also, you're forgetting about the thing on the right. You're right. I yes. am. Thank you. You were quiet. I don't know what it is about this game, but it makes me tired. I, it's just, I think it's dark. Yeah, it is a dark game. Like there's a lot of stuff Commence going and on, All and there's a lot of lights, area. but it is comparatively Concentrate. a dark game. Okay, maybe because too, yeah, we've been having a definite lack of physical activity yeah. coupled with just know. the monotony of the days. I really want to play board games. Well, we, I was up for board games today and then you turned on a documentary. Because it was about plastic and how it's polluting the ocean. Uh -huh. I didn't even get but to you're... finish it. Well. Oh, the Moth Unit. Self-piloting anti-personal weapon manufactured by Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division. This consummate killing machine is armed with a drill on its head, claws on its arms, and rotating blades on its torso. Oh, but it doesn't tell you what L-O-T-H means. Keep it together. There, get the heck out of there. Bring it. But those blades are actually really annoying. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can actually get close enough to this thing to hit him with a point blank. Cloud, abilities, counter stance. I'm waiting. Ow. Oh yeah. Wonder forgot to equip steel. Tifa has steel. I am so not interested in constantly switching things around. Shell, do you want to, like, go get some food or something? I'm just tilting my head to the side. That's usually a telltale sign that you're getting sleepy. Well, it's in part because of this headset. Oh, is it uncomfortable? Well, so it's a lot more excess weight on the left side than I would like, so that's why I sometimes tilt my head to the right side. Okay. And sort of rest my head on my shoulder. Because the other thing you could potentially do, uh, 
if the headset is bothering Wander got me one of these headsets just to see if I find it more comfortable and give me the opportunity to relax a little bit more rather than juggle having a microphone like in front of me. Your toys get torn to I never grow tired of watching my toys be broken, no matter how many times I've seen it happen. Such is the case when you truly enjoy your work. Now, for the next step. I do feel like Hojo's whole, like... I like seeing things break. I don't mind if things get destroyed or die. <laughs> like, I think after a certain point... It'd be a waste of resources. Yeah. I guess I could almost understand his perspective if he's, like, mentally accepting that Cloud is technically one of his creations. Mm -hmm. Now's our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper! They never learn. Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. Whoa. That was a good shot. <laughs> Be a good boy. And keep the other pets company. <laughs> Shit, looks like Red might need our help up there. Ah, oh, so that's what those are these? were. Sledge worm. It's like it's the whack a mole. It's whack a mole in reverse. They are the ones popping Let's out of the holes, right. but they have the hammers. An autonomous anti-personal weapon manufactured by Chinra's Advanced Weaponry Division. Able to warp space and time, seemingly disappear into thin air. It warps close to targets and strikes with its hammer. Oh, I see. So they're sort of digitally manifesting themselves. They have all these wires that are Calling lightning. interlocking yeah. every panel, but they're just transferring themselves to it as, it opposing, as opposed to going in and out of them physically. Oh, like there's a tunnel what? underneath. <laughs> wow. Ow. Now it's taking the brunt of it, though. It's okay. Team Cleric Barrett is here. Oh, you in trouble now. Okay, Cloud and Dara. I oh, one of them. We will be okay. Stay down, asshole. This is just the most lazy fight ever. Sit here, hold square. Barrett will shoot something. Eventually heal. As soon as AP is high enough. I mean, I suppose Cloud is doing a good job, even though he's an AI. Yep. Yeah. Well. I mean, mostly it's Cloud is staying alive. Everything else is just kind of, eh. Wait, do they use time to freeze you? Yep. We've been stopped. That isn't nearly as bad. I feel like stop used to be a lot worse. But then again, I usually encountered stop in the uh, tactics games, where whenever somebody cast stop on me, it would absolutely like destroy me because it would be like three turns of just standing there taking damage. Whereas in this, it was only a couple of seconds, so it wasn't so bad, which is odd. Actually, that's really weird. So you know how every once in a while I get hit by an enemy attack and then sit there being like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like. Five ten seconds of just sitting there being like, uh Where stop was like maybe two seconds of being frozen in place mm -hmm. with a timer so I could even see. Just what keep shooting, Bear. God, 
Dang it. Where's Hojo? Sorry, he got away. Forget about him for now. Sleep is supposed to be a damage threshold base, but I'm not even talking about sleep though. I'm talking about uh, there's a uh, there's like if you get hit by a certain enemy attacks, it'll just stun you for a long time, and you'll just sit there and, like kind of. Oh, what? Chest. Stunned, I guess? I don't know. And that's a separate thing entirely. Oh, I see. You're talking about the difference between... Yeah, the bandit's shock mines and some other things. Like, that's the bad stun, because you don't know when that's going to go away. Sleep and stop aren't so bad. That's the one that's not codified into an easy mechanic or has, like, an easy counter. Drives me a bit nutty. Come shell, talk to me. Things. I'm, just, I'm I'm analyzing the environment right now. There's a lot to look at. It like I was thinking about what functions a lot of these objects served and well, namely if there's anything under the stairway back there, but there probably wasn't on the other side. Oh man. Now that now that you're talking about it a little bit, I would love to see them. Because it looked like there was a gap on the right. No, like no, no, like left and no. Nah, okay. It just looked like an oddly wide space. But after playing Half Life, Alex, I would absolutely love to see Square Enix make a like just the artists handle a VR game. Mm -hmm. This ain't a hospital, is it? Test subjects don't receive treatment. They're enhanced or dissected. This guy's a real piece of work. But like. Mm -hmm. I would love to see this level of artistry in a 3D game, uh, in a VR game. Oh, uh, what? Now what? Hey, let us out! What's doing that? Telepathically, <laughs> or telekinetically? Oh, they. Oh no. I remember you, and he remembers us. I think. Brain pod, Noxious Squirrel. Wait a minute. If it's a brain pod, is there a brain floating around in there? Possibly. Assess brain pod. A species created by Shinra's research and development division by installing a copy of a human brain into a tank. Its primary method of attack is to expel the waste matter that builds up within its tank? Gross. What? Not the... Not the telekinetic stuff? It, just the waste? Gross. I mean, brain's gotta poop. Calling lightning. Oh, you didn't get to see Tammy the T-Rex. No. Was that the movie where the T-Rex had the boyfriend's brain put in it? Yeah. Wait, do they overview brain waste? N not really, it's just under the movie his brain's in like a bowl. Okay. So you need to figure out which one's the real one? Wait, are those heads? Is that what the brain thing inside looks like? All the time. Because they do have what looks like two glowing eyes. So it's sending a projection of itself at you. Calling ice. Your mind going all out. I defeated a lot of them. Gotta give it my all. Yeah, for one of the bad movie nights, Wander watched a what was a T Rex movie? Uh, two T-Rex movies. Two we saw Theodora Rex and Tammy and the T-Rex. Uh, back to back. And they were both irredeemably bad. Theodore Rex was real boring. Tammy and the T-Rex was a special kind of awful... Wasn't one of them with Whoopi Goldberg in it? Yeah, Theodore Rex was, at the time, like, one of the most expensive movies ever made. 
And it was a complete and absolute, like, box office... Flop. Well, disaster. Mm -hmm. Flop is an understatement of how bad that movie did. Um, and so, uh... Uh, so, like... We were watching Theodore Rex, and they clearly put a lot of effort into it, but it was just boring and crappy. Whereas Tammy and the T-Rex was a special kind of disaster where they effectively had an anima animatonic, uh, animatronic T-Rex for, like, a month. And they're like, we're just going to make a movie. And uh... slapped the whole thing together in a month. With minimal writing and a bunch of other things, and it was just mm -hmm. hilarious dumb. With... Is there a scene where the girlfriend strips for the T-Rex? Yeah, well, no. At the very end of the movie, the they have removed the boyfriend's brain from the T-Rex. Uh-huh. And put it in a bowl in a room, connected it to, like, a security camera and, like, a commu computer monitor or something like that. And so the last, like, three minutes of the movie are her, is her just doing this, like, weird, creepy strip show... For her boyfriend's brain in a bowl, you know, a couple feet away. And he is, like, they're effectively having him voice act out, you know, an orgasm. Oh, gosh. For and it's, like, time it is. sending out sparks and setting things on fire. <laughs> I'll let Tifa and Aerith know. <laughs> that was the, uh, that was the Tammy one, right? Yeah, that's Tammy and the T-Rex. Uh, not... Oh gosh! Yeah, do you have Oprah Winfrey stripping for no? No, there, no, 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 no. There was like a uh, Whoopi some... Goldberg was in oh, yeah, the other one. Oh yeah, you're right. Not Oprah. I could. I honestly, for ages, thought that they were the, the same person. That was the Theodore Rex one, right? Yeah. That's the door to the fourth wall. If we want to get in, we'll need to go all the way back to the central terminal. But the door we used to get here is shut. So what now? The passages have to be connected somehow. But yeah, hot garbage. Rose? Yeah, the boyfriend was played by Paul Walker, later of the Fast and Furious fame. Yup. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, was he a teenager back then? Uh, or like college-ish, but it was like one of his earliest roles. Uh. And it showed. The acting was abysmal. Oh hey, it looks like Red can cross that. Mm hmm. Please. Is Paul Walker the one who passed away? Yeah. Uh. It's a PHS terminal. Call up Tifa. See if they can get to the central terminal. Hey! You okay down there? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Looks like they unleashed the wrong pods. Come on. Wow, that was effective. Damn it! Red! Shit! He can't hold them all forever! Defeat nearby enemies and save red. Yeah. So you have to call the PA, right. essentially. On it. I like it how Tifa and Aerith don't even notice. Tifa, mm -hmm. you there? Is something wrong? Red fell to your level. Can you try to get to him? Oh no! Come on! And then she slowly disengages from the computer. Mm-hmm. Oh, I knew that they would come up. Those bizarre platforms. Mind taking over? So it's my turn? This one's for you! How about you back off? Really playing up the flowers, aren't they? This 
Will keep him away. Are those shields? Yep. How about you back off? <laughs> Too much? This one's for you. <laughs> This'll keep him away. <laughs> They're kind of goofy, but they do seem to kind of help. And we've acquired the ability to put the staff away for good. You okay? Sorry, but I gotta. I'll take care of you. Don't give up. Bye. This one's for you. Gonna pull back. I'll show you what I can do. There we go. Can't see anything through all these flowers, but oh well. Yeah, TV is getting kind of messed up. Not that you can tell yeah. through all the flowers. Ow. Oh, because we've also got crap prey on Aerith. Get him! Because you put your good prey on one of the other. On Barret, yeah. This one's for you. Because, you know, I only maxed one out. Because up until now, it hasn't mattered. Gotta go for it now. Just taking a little break. Means in the future, you know, to have the way at to least do it. two. Yeah. Are... Well, hopefully we we actually get the ability to like carry over some of this stuff to the next game. So I just already have pre-maxed prey. On, really? But like, oh, what are these robots? They're not robots. They're enhanced troopers. Oh. When did these troopers get here? They just dropped down. This, as far as I knew, there there weren't any humans in this facility, like this start. immediate facility, except for Hojo himself. These guys are on rollerblades. One more oh. shot. Soldiers on, roto you on motorcycles? Hey! <laughs> that stopped him in his tracks. Ow, ouch, Kinda. ouch. They have cool helmets. I like those bubble Thistle. visors Keep for all those reasons. I do kind of despise these guys. Mm -hmm. oh, do they have any weaknesses that you know of? They're actually resistant to magic. Enjoy the blob! Poison, you mean? I think we're almost done. It is the blob. There's no poison, there's only blob. Yep. Damn it. Ray. Ow. Damn it. That's it. I think that's the what third or fourth time she's gone airborne? This one's for these guys? Yeah, I don't like these guys. They're They're kind of annoying. Ouch. I was really hoping the flowers would like keep them stunned more. Or like keep them away. It doesn't really work that way. We'll make it quick. Ah, finally he's Keep staggering. Up the pressure, okay? And he's doing the splits. Look at that. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna very quickly go into Materia. And uh screw it. We don't need analyze, but she needs spells at the very least. Oh wait, no, she already has a healing materia. She does not need to. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll give her fire and... I can never do a split. Lightning. Get close. But... I had, a, are just, I had a friend in elementary school whose sister could not only do the splits, but her, like, legs could then be bent upwards. The no, let's get this over with. All the way to touch the top of her head. Oh gosh. Bring it. So at that point then like I can understand for the front leg. But that would mean twisting. This one's for you. If you've ever seen like the human hip, how it's almost like a ball and socket joint into the hip bone. I um I'll take care of you. I know how you could get to grind all the way around. <laughs> Nearly 180. That's just. Oof. I got this. There. 
I was, I was impressed and horrified. I mean, I can touch my feet to the back of my head, but when I was a kid, I could do it by laying down like a seal on the floor and then raising my head back and then being able to bring my, my toes back. I could touch the back of my head. Okay. But now I have to actually hold my leg and my foot and bring it to my head, but I can still do that. I, my right leg is more flexible than my left. Take care of you. I was never big on flexibility. I should probably work on it, but still. Well, we didn't you have a fitness test for flexibility? We have to Let's reach out. This. Kind of. You okay? I am now. Nice one. Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. Okay. Carrying equipment, Aerith, related staff to reinforce staff. Because that's the last staff she is not. It does make me wonder when they have animals talking if even if they had the muscles required to move their lips in a particular fashion with the way that their maws are situated would they be able to project forward probably not because mm -mm. like i'm trying to off i go There he goes. It would have been slick if the animation is was like at the end he would hop off the fence sides and onto the lever, pushing it down quickly. <laughs> just to be a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just noticing there's a lot of these kind of like sort of clunky and animations. The professor still has plans for us, I presume. For the record, I don't like this one bit. All that remains is the fourth ward. We must trust in Cloud and Barrett to see it through. The Scooby is the most accurate rendition of animal vocalization. <laughs> <laughs> I really Sad wish thing you is... wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Stay back. It is really impressive yeah. how oh. with beaks. <laughs> Birds can mimic human voices so well. Hmm? Get him. I think bird tongues are extremely dexterous, though, comparatively. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, how shocking. So, I don't know. I guess it's less surprising that birds. Right? That wasn't so bad. Would be capable of it. I don't know. Okay, fourth ward. Just reminds me of that story about the, or maybe it was even a video. I forget. This one bird hated. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. I hated another bird that this lived in his household. This was a good idea, right? Yep. Oh. Let's go give the others the news. It hated the other bird? Yeah. Oh. We found an yeah. elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something. I know it. There's only one thing we can do. We need to head to the fourth war, just like he wants. We unlocked it on our side. You should be able to get in. Thanks. Wait for us there. So... This... Right. Oh. Now we head back to that door. This parrot absolutely hated this other bird named Paco that his owners had. And one day, like the lady was cleaning Paco's cage and also cooking a chicken in the oven. 
And because the bird's cage was in the kitchen, he watched as she brought the chicken out from the oven. And he goes, poor Paco. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he hoped that it was Paco that was cooking. Uh... I'm waiting. It's over. That didn't really work. Birds are pretty intelligent. One step at a time, huh? We've been getting tons of bird song in the morning. Yeah. I'm sure they're very happy. Uh humanity has uh chilled out we, uh, for the past Wedge month. Wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. You know, he really likes you. Maybe. Friendly. Guy. But he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. Huh. Parrots will kill finches. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This looks like a boss fight. Yeah, that it does. Wait, 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 wait. What's what are all those tubes going to? Are they just Yes. Uh They are going to yes. Hmm. Oh, just just like, why did you have to route plumbing through my entire lab? <laughs> uh, we didn't have any other space. Well, well fine, I'll though. make use of it somehow. Poop tube confusion fill, here we go. Uh why is there poop in our Drinking waters. What did you expect? Mad sides. <laughs> what? You hear that? Better leap out. Run. It's coming down the tube at high speed. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's another one of those engines, but more serpentine. Ooh. Never mind. It's a flying blind fish bot here is trying to turn us into mixed me. Chain fish bot. Sort of feed. I suppose it does have quite a number of blades on it. Oh wait, no. Live wire. It's using electricity. That is I am on Karig. Abilities assess sort of feed. Best do it right. A bionic species created by Shinra's R&D division. These specimens are difficult to control as their behavior regulation mechanisms have not yet been perfected. They circle in the sky searching for quarry, then swoop down to attack. Well, oh, no tactical available, data available. Time to just play as Barrett. I wonder what you could try on him magic wise. He's not weak to any anything, he's not resistant either. Mm -hmm. I'm just mildly uncaring. How does Barrett... this thing even float? It's defying gravity. Ow. Also, it's just These sending more hurt. electric pulses. These things hurt. It's raining little sparks. Come on. Okay. Spells. Andara? Bam! Ooh. Did you overload it? I pissed it off. It's out of control. Damn it. Oh, no. I think it's coming this way. You're up. I'm coming. 
Oh, this is a first. What? Just switching from one, one party to another? Shot. Yeah, in the middle of a boss fight? Get him. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a neat... It looks like whatever magic you're flinging at him is doing more damage than physical attacks. Yeah. 100%. Just a little should help. Ah. Uh, okay. Wait. Aha. Silly idea. Poison? Not immune. You'll feel it soon. Just just go away. Yeah. Yep. It's susceptible to poison. <laughs> what the hell? Which is funny because I would always assume that machines wouldn't be affected by by poison, but eh. Gotta be strong. Stay strong, okay? Poor Tifa is just getting continually knocked down. Get him! It's not a, uh, it, this is not a boss fight for ranged characters. This is a boss fight for, for poison, though. What the? And fortunately, the connections leading to Genova are in the way. There. Hang in there. This thing's kind of annoying. But that's okay, because I could poison it, just like the house. Oh, hey, look, it's down. Yep. This one's for you. Ooh, nice. Just one more shot. Dive kick. There we go. Now the question is, can Cloud wield it? It's just dangling on it. <laughs> Well, because there were those nice... Yeah, they looked like handholds. Oh, nope. Red is attempting to wield it. Pour something out of it. That's enough. Again, you triumph. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Yes, I believe I have just about all the data that I require. Then we are ready to proceed to the next stage. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes, we got it to work. Was that Hojo wandering off with Mommy Dearest? No, no, it was uh, Sephiroth. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sephiroth wa walking off with Mommy Dearest. But it was just someone in rags. I. Could this be a trap? Don't worry. The elevators are safe. Mm. All right. If you say so. It just looked too small for Mommy Dearest because Genova was huge. Unless he huh? cracks are it open. And... No. Something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to open up that door. The source of the sound. We don't have all day, you know. I think it might be locked from this side. <laughs> if you had waited, there may have been more dialogue. But oh well. Probably. Long. Hey, you guys. Uh, hey. Babe. 
hands back together. Past time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. <laughs> 